Thomas Edison changed the world in the mid-1800s with the perfection of the electric light bulb, but soon Edison's claim to immortality will be switched off. The final phase of a federal energy bill signed six years ago by President George W. Bush will end the production of 60 and 40 watt incandescent light bulbs starting January 1st. Households will have to replace them with LED lights or compact fluorescent lamps, otherwise known as CFLs. They do run more expensive, but um, in the long run, you save more money because it cuts down on your energy bill. LPNL tells us the average household has about 40 light bulbs. If you have that many light bulbs, you, you know, it'd be nice to save some money. So saving your energy is going to help, especially since energy has gone up. Joe Mahaka disagrees. We found him stocking up on incandescent bulbs. You have six boxes of 40. The other bulbs say you must you use them for three hours a day, and that's how they last seven years. Well, average person runs a light bulb between six and seven hours a day, so that's the reason why we like these. Stores are only allowed to sell what they have left on shelves after January 1st. Then it's lights out. Well, we go to the curly cues like everybody else and uh, hope, uh, you know, it'll work. <laughs> When you go to replace your old incandescent lights with the new ones, just check the wattage on your old light bulbs to make sure you're getting the right one that corresponds. It says on the box that it's going to show an example of, you know, 60 watts is going to equal to this. 175 watt incandescent bulbs have already been phased out to make the transition easier on consumers. It's just the 60 and the 40 watts that are left. Caitlin Napoleone, Fox 34 News at 9.